assume that hybridization experiments are conducted with peas having the property that for offspring there is a 0.25 probability that the pea has green pods and assume that the offspring peas are randomly selected in groups of 26. Okay, so P is going to be 0.25. That's our probability of success. Success here is a P that has a green pod. Okay, part A. Find the mean and standard deviation for the number of peas with green pods in the groups of 26. So N is 26. So recall the formula for the mean or expected value of the binomial is NP. Okay, so this is 26 times 0.25. So mu is going to be equal to, um, let me just put it in the calculator, play it safe. Let's see. So let me clear. So 26 times 0.25. 6.5. Let's type it in, see if it's right. 6.5. Good stuff. All right. So 6.5. That's the mean or expected value. Now it wants the standard deviation. The formula for the standard deviation was the square root of NPQ. So here N is 26. P is uh, 0.25. Q is 1 minus P. So Q is 1 minus 0.25. So Q is 0.75. Okay, so you have NPQ. All you do now is plug them in to the formula. So N is 26. P is, uh, we said it was 0.25. Yeah, 0.25. And then Q was 0.75. All right. So let's try this. Put it in the calculator. See what we get. So, so the square root Q here is orange. So I have to hit second first. Second square root. So 26 times 0.75 times 0.2. Oh, I did it backwards. It should have been it should have been 0.25 times 0.75. But that's okay. It's the same answer, right? No big deal. So. Uh, one decimal would be 2.2. All right, let's try it. 2.2. Good stuff. So 2.2 is the answer. All right, let's see what the next question says. Let me just scroll down to so more room to work. Use the range rule of thumb to find the values separating results that are significantly low or significantly high. Values of blank P's or fewer are significantly low. Okay, so... So we have to find the minimum usual value, right? Minimum usual value. So the minimum usual value. Okay, so that's going to be mu minus two sigma. So that's 6.5 minus two times 2.2, right? Just plugging in the mu. So mu here was, was 6.5. That's this one. And then sigma was 2.2. .2. So I'm going to put this in the calculator. So 6.5 minus 2 times 2.2. .2. So 2.1. 2.1. And then we want the maximum usual value. So it's going to be the same, except we have a plus sign. So it'll be uh, so the max usual value is mu plus 2 sigma. So it's 6.5 plus 2 times 2.2. .2. I think that's 10.9, but let me let me type it in. 6.5 plus 2 times 2.2. .2. Yeah, it is 10.9. Good stuff. 10.9. 10.9. So they just want the minimum and maximum usual values in these questions. Nice work. It says, is the result of one P with green pods a result that is significantly low? Yes. Yes, because one is less than 2.1, so it would be unusual. Um, the result is significantly low, 
because it is less than 2.1 p's, right? It's less than this number here. All right, um, so I hope that made sense.